You probably already know about it at this point, Assassin's Creed Odyssey, a new Assassin's Creed game has been announced. It's coming to E3 2018, so either June 10th or June 11th during the Microsoft or Ubisoft show. And now after the official announcement, a lot of people claim to know info about the game, so I thought let's take a look at some interesting info that I think might be the truth. So let's do that in this video, if you enjoy that then a like would be super appreciated and let's go. So we have to take everything that we will discuss here in this video with a grain of salt. The game is confirmed, it is real, you see the teaser right here. But all the info we will discuss here could very well be fake, but it sure is very detailed. And the guy also had some proof that he might know what he's talking about because he shared an image of an email from the Ubisoft user research lab that hires people to playtest the Ubisoft games. So this guy, Gears of Scorch on Twitter, says he obtained an extensive list of emails and he heard a lot of interesting things. And also Jason from Kotaku with a really good track record says that he had talked to people who had played the game so those could be game testers as well. That's why I think there is a chance that this might be the truth. So I want to go over this but without any spoilers because there are a lot of them in the chain of tweets from this guy Gears of Scorch So I put a link to those tweets in the description down below so you can choose to read it for yourself Again warning for spoilers of the story of this new game Potentially of course if this is real in this video though I want to touch on some awesome features that could be in the game according to this rumor. So let's start with this tweet saying that the eagles are returning so we got an eagle called Icarus according to this rumor. The skill tree returns and we got a legendary quest from Diana the daughter of Artemis and she's the daughter of Zeus and you will have to hunt legendary animals for her namely the and I hope I pronounce it right Nami lion and the boar of Zevala. And when I read stuff like this in leaks I'm always like how can you come up with this but it is of course possible but I find it hard to believe the other point the bad guys are called cultists it's really weird as someone that played a lot of Far Cry 5 it seems like a weird choice to put cultists in both games that are set to launch pretty close to each other I mean we're fighting cultists in Far Cry 5 of course as well so yeah this part is a little bit weird areas will be restrictive just like origins so yeah it's not weird they would go with the same system that the areas have like levels and that you need to become stronger to be able to survive there the combat is similar to origins not really weird I really like that combat system so I hope they improve upon it as well glad that it returns for this Odyssey game uh, weapon perks return as well similar to origins but you can now choose your own perks for weapons and this is called engraving so of course in origins you had set perks per weapon so I really hope this is true because it will give you way more freedom customization options to also make a weapon you think look cool better so you can maybe use it longer and this would also mean that you can like combine perks in interesting ways and so I'm totally for that we need to complete a special side quest to unlock an engraving as a reward. And I totally applaud this. I really hope that this is true because that is a great reward for a side mission that you can always use. For example, in Origins, you sometimes had a weapon or a shield that you got from a side mission, but then you already got a better one. So then, yeah, you got that weapon, but it did not really make a difference. Getting a perk as a reward instead or as one of the rewards is really nice because you can always use that on all your weapons. So I really like this. This part is also really interesting. Each region will have a leader controlling the area. We need to kill the leaders and commanders and claim the outpost to lure these sort of generals out. And this system keeps returning every time I see an Odyssey leak, it is in there. So it's like Far Cry 5 and Ghost Recon. So that also means probably that you're kind of free in how you would lure them out. Probably by doing different activities like clearing an outpost, destroying propaganda in the area or maybe doing side missions. And that will all count towards this lure or resistance meter, however you want to call it. And then in the end, this sort of boss type of enemy will come out and hunt you. Curious to see how this will shake out in Odyssey, but this has been noted again many, many times. So I really think that it's likely that we will see a system like this. This one is also interesting and in line with the article from Jason Schreier from Kotaku, who also noted that choices would play a huge part in the game. And of course, Jason has a great track record, so I totally believe everything he writes. This leak goes on about multiple decisions that impact the entire story and it's not noted here but in a tweet that contains a pretty big spoiler so I don't want to show it here. 
but it basically says that you get a big choice at a certain level and that will then change the story and the game will have multiple endings depending on that choice. And that is pretty huge like for an Assassin's Creed game and then you'll also have multiple playable characters so there could really be multiple ways to play this game and see different outcomes according to this rumor. So that is pretty exciting. So good to notice that the multiple playable characters and the multiple decisions are from the Jason Schreier Kotaku story. So that is probably legit, but the rest is still like up in the air. It's still a rumor. The names of the playable characters are also noted in this rumor, Alexios and Cassandra. And of course, when we hear those names during E3, we already know, okay, the rest of the rumor is probably real as well. But of course, the other way around as well. Uh, the Olympium games should be featured in this game. And the time the game is set in is still like a really interesting topic because some leaks say the Vlevian dynasty so that would be a hundred years after Origins. But as I noted in the Odyssey announcement video, Jason Schreier is also not sure what is going on. So many playtesters that reached out to him and he verified that they are indeed legit say that the game is set before Origins. Just like this, Leak also says that the game is set 400 years before Origins. While another, and according to Jason, very reliable source said to him that it's set after Origins, that it's a sequel to Origins. But during the Vlavian Dynasty, then it's not Agent Greece. So interesting stuff, we will know soon enough. I will keep a close eye out on everything Odyssey. So when we know more as we near the official announcement on either June 10th during the Microsoft Show or June 11th during the Ubisoft Showcase, Anyway, when we hear more stuff, I will let you know here on the channel. And I can't say it enough, I'm going to E3 as well. So subscribe for gameplay of Assassin's Creed Odyssey and way, way more. Drop a like to support the channel. Check out my video on the Odyssey announcement if you haven't already, where I also take a closer look at the short teaser they released. I'll speak to you next time and goodbye.